Hey there, Cancer. What's going on? You are watching Tease Tarot. Thank you for being here. So I'm very excited to read for you today. Um, one of my favorite spreads that I do here on Tease Tarot is you versus them. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm going to be drawing Oracle cards, love Oracle uh, cards um, for you at the end from the True Love Oracle deck. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Also, um, at the end, I will be doing a yes or no uh, card for you that I will draw. So whatever question you have, think of it now. Um, and at the end, I will be drawing a yes or no question for you. So uh, there you go. That's what's happening today on Teas Tarot. So uh, please like, share, subscribe. Um, there's contest to be won. There will be a winner that I will be announcing uh, very shortly, most likely today for the new subscriber contest. So I'm going to be doing a live video upload of the winner and I will be doing, uh, you know, picking the name out and whoever was a new subscriber for the month of May. Yes, you have a chance to win today. I'll be doing that. So stay tuned for that on Tees Tarot. Um, you can always watch the uh, recording uh, later on. Okay, so I resonated on your cards. Oh, I do have a new channel, which I will be um, uh, doing a new poem. It's called uh, Tease Tea Poetry Chronicles. If you're interested in anything to do with poetry, I am reading my own poems, and I have one in the making, so, so check that out. It's Tease, T-E-A-S-E, T, -E -A -S -E, tea, as in tea bag, T-E-A, um, which is comforting, chamomile tea, while you read poetry and recite poetry and all that. So Tease Tea, Poetry Chronicles, check that out. I have that with one poem. I have an upcoming poem. I'm very excited. So happy June to all the Cancers out there. Um, you may be celebrating a birthday at the end of June. So um, that's we're going into Cancer season. So that's exciting. Uh, yeah, please like, share, subscribe. There's lots of contests in the description box below. 40th person to comment. Wins a free reading, an hour reading, and when you're a new subscriber in the month of June, you have a chance to win a prize draw of a free half an hour reading with me, which I will be uh, showcasing that in July. So welcome to June. I'm very excited. I'm a Gemini. It's Gemini season. If you can't tell. I'm stoked about it. Yeah, I am. Okay, so let's get to your you versus them, okay? And then, yes, the three oracles I'm going to be doing, pulling from the true oracle, true love oracle, and your yes and no question. So think about that question. I'm going to be starting, um, oh, with the witch's tarot for you. Um, and yay. So thank you for being here. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Cancer. Okay. So you versus them, it could be anybody. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be your romantic partner, of course. It could be anybody that you're thinking about the most, possibly on their side, whoever's thinking about you the most. So I will do my best, uh, you know, to explain the cards for you. Remember, this could be present time, right? But it also could be for future time. If you're new to tarot, um, it could be a future read a couple weeks from now, a couple months from now, however it resonates. If the message doesn't resonate now, fine. You can come back, you can watch next week, see if it does for your sign. Take what resonates, leave the rest. But remember, this could be up and coming as well, okay? So I just wanted to clarify that with you. But do take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't make a fit. Um, yeah, so cross watchers, you are welcome. Okay, so we're going to get started now. Sorry, that was a long intro, but I am really connecting with your energy um, as I am talking to you, Cancer, the collective. Okay, so bursting with energy today here on Tease Tarot. I hope you're all doing well, Cancer. Okay, so for Cancer... For Cancer, June 2023. For Cancer. Show me Cancer, please. Show me Cancer. Cool. 
who are you, Cancer? Your energy. The Six of Swords. Moving on. Just moving on. That's where you're at. You're moving on. Um, so that's a good energy to be in if you're needing to move on. Six of Swords. Okay. If you're needing to go uh, somewhere that is um, beneficial, more beneficial, uh, more calm, more peaceful, that offers more serenity, more tranquility. That's what you're doing. Okay. And your thoughts towards your person. Okay. So uh, judgment, which in the Witch's Tarot is karma. Okay. So uh, your thoughts for them are in terms of karma and judgment. You see that there's three people celebrating under the moon there. Uh, yeah. You're wanting the truth to be, set you free when you're thinking of you and your person. Okay. And you're wanting um, guidance from your angels, ancestors, loved ones to incorporate this in your partnership with this person. Okay. You're wanting uh, everything to be fair, just, correct. Okay. You're wanting things to be correct. You're wanting karma, uh, hopefully good karma <laughs> for your person. Okay. When you're thinking about them, you're wanting them to have uh, a yes from the universe, which would ultimately give you a yes when you're thinking of them. Okay. Because really, um, we're not vengeful people. We're not revengeful people. Uh, we're not born on this earth as like little itty bitty babies ready to uh, want karma, bad karma for someone. So I take it as an angel message saying there's good karma for you when you're thinking about your person. You think of them in the light of having good karma and you as well. Okay. So take that as it resonates. Your feelings towards them. Three of cups. Okay. This could be celebrating. Um, this is your feelings. You're wanting to celebrate life, okay, with your partnerships, with your friendships, with this does show friendships, uh, with your family. So you're wanting to celebrate, okay? I see that you're moving to a very peaceful place in energy or physically moving. Um, there's good karma surrounding you when you're thinking about your person and you're wanting to celebrate. So far, so good. All right. And then your actions you want to take towards your person, of course, uh, you would want good karma for them because you see them in the light of the queen of wands. Okay, so your actions that you want to take towards your person is the queen of wands energy, which is very passionate, very driven, um, you know, and you know what you want. Okay, this is the person you want and you're going to, the queen of wands goes after what they want. She wants, he or she does not matter in tarot, uh, male, female, no, it's masculine or feminine energy. So you're wanting to move towards your person very passionately. You get the job done. The queen of wands is very passionate, very good looking, very attractive. And that is what you're wanting to do. Move passionately in that direction towards your person. Any obstacles is the knight of pentacles. So Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy <clears throat> is a slow moving energy. Okay. So, and I see this Knight of Pentacles in the obstacle position and, or what's influencing the situation you on your um, energy field is that you feel that there might not be enough in terms of um, wealth. Okay. Security. You're worried about security. Is there enough security for you and your queen of wands to celebrate and to live in peace and comfort, tranquility? Is there enough um, in terms of wealth? Okay. So you're worried about money. You're worried about your coin. And as a knight, um, hasn't fully reached the um, scale of the king. Okay. So you're working on it. Okay. Slowly and steadily. You're working on your coin, okay, because you want peace. You want to have judgment on your side, good karma, and you're wanting all good things for you and your partner, and you're working on diligently. It's a slow, it's a slow grow with the night, okay, because they're really, really mastering their um, skill set in order to create structure, security, abundance, wealth, and all that. 
So that's your, that's what the obstacle is. Okay. And then how to overcome the obstacle strength, easy. Okay. <laughs> be strong, be willing, um, be courageous. Okay. Go after what you need to do, whatever that is, um, forward movement, even though it's slow and steady, it's forward movement and you're going to do this very boldly. And uh, this is Leo, of course. So this could happen in Leo season, which is right after your birthday. So you're going to be very strong and courageous and you're going to go after what it is that you want, which is the queen of wands, because that is the actions you're going to take. You're going to be very, very passionate. You're going to be creating um, your substance, okay, for your queen or king. And you're going to be uh, using the energy of strength, okay, bravery, courage, okay, and um, also taming the lion, okay, so doing what you need to do, having the strength to do what you need to do in order to create this security. So I see that is um, desirable, nothing wrong with that, we'll see how your person feels. First of all, um, what is the most probable and desir desirable outcome? Eight of Cups. Okay, so the most um, the most probable outcome is leaving uh, Eight of Cups. Moving on. Okay, leaving things behind, leaving things that possibly you don't want to, but have to leave behind due to whatever circumstances, your environment, um, different things, having to move to somewhere that will hopefully offer you the two of cups, okay? Having to leave a person, place, or thing behind. And then advice from spirit is four of swords. Rest, recover. Okay, this is very much a resting card. It's after the three of swords, okay? Three of swords is, you know, swords daggered in your heart, pain, Heartbreak. This is uh, the advice from spirit is asking you in terms of this card and what this card means to rest, recover, gather your strength, gather your, your um, momentum. Okay. So that you can achieve what you want to achieve in terms of the Knight of Pentacles. So recharging your batteries. Okay. And really reflecting on things. Um, and then Maybe that is just what they're saying would help you to achieve this um, Knight of Pentacles, okay? So that's really taking time out for yourself, okay? And uh, recharging, renewing, restoring your faith, your strength, okay? Because we do have courage here. Okay, so I see that is beautiful energy and we'll see what your person is all about. Okay. Okay. So, for Cancer's person, show me Cancer's person, please. Angels, guides, and ancestors, show me Cancer's person. Show me Cancer's person. So remember to think of that question because I will be drawing a card at the end. Uh, yes or no question, okay? Okay, so Cancer's person, eight of wands, okay? So a lot of communication, fast acting communication, okay? The, uh, your person is very fast on their feet, very quick to maneuver, uh, very quick to make decisions, very quick to um, communicate, okay? So this is... Leo, um, Sagittarius, and um, Aries, okay? So, yeah, your person is very much about communication, fast action, move, a lot of movement. And what I see in yours is, of course, a movement card as well, Six of Swords. So as you're moving slowly to your destination with one um, paddle there, one oar uh, paddle, your person is very, very fast at communication, very, very quick. Whoever he or she is, very quick on her feet, quick to, to speak up and quick to make decisions and quick to move forward and whatever way that is, okay? I will clarify any cards that need to be. The thoughts towards you 
uh, your person is ace of swords. So speaking their truth, standing up for themselves, speaking um, their mind, uh, really thinking about what needs to be said and saying it, cutting out what no longer serves of them, serves them, wanting a fresh start. Okay. Um, their thoughts towards you are a fresh start, something that will give them or you victory in this matter. Okay. And you have karma in the, that position, their feelings towards you, king of swords. Okay. So they're really, um, standing their ground, saying what needs to be said, um, not mincing their words, speaking uh, their truth, being very loyal to their word. These are all communication uh, cards, okay? Um, all of them speak of communication, okay? So they're really, really able to say what needs to be said, cut out what no longer needs, that needs to be there in terms of energy, okay? Um, very experienced in making decisions. Okay. And they seem to be doing so very quickly and acting fast. This is a very fast moving King, um, thinking very clearly speaking their truth, very, um, on point. Okay. Okay. So that is their feelings towards you. The actions they want to take is okay. The high priestess. All right. So something to do with religious values. Possibly they have a strong faith. Uh, possibly they lean on their spirituality or their faith to make these decisions and to come up with truths. So they are seeking counsel of leader of a religious leader in order to make these decisions. That's what the King of Swords does. That's what he is great at making very good decisions. Um, he may say things that could hurt um, someone's ego, for example, but he needs to say it because he has an empire to um, look after. So whatever needs to go, needs to go. Whatever can stay, can stay. He makes those decisions. Um, so, and what he does in this energy with these two cards, the King of Swords and the High Priest, which is the Hierophant in the Witch's Tarot, and these are the actions is he speaks to uh, a faithful leader, one of spiritual value. This is like the Pope. So he's speaking in union with um, someone of very high religious value to make these strong decisions. OK, whatever those decisions are, the obstacles and challenges is OK, the Ace of Pentacles. So. Um, Sorry, I was looking at your cards there and trying finding, I was getting some messages there. Ah, Ace of Pentacles. So the obstacles and challenges are new beginnings is, uh, you know, in terms of security. And that is what your challenge was as well. So matching in um, energy here, your uh, obstacle or challenge seems to be security with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, is it enough? And in their challenge as well is ace of pentacles is there enough security for a beginning okay with this person okay so that's what their obstacle is or that is what is influencing their decisions or the environment around them they're needing security as well to overcome any obstacles okay uh brand new start all right. So another action card. This is taking a leap of faith, not knowing where they're going to land, not really worried about the outcome of where they land. They're going to be a free spirit and just leap and whatever happens, they're going to do it in joy and happiness. OK, so that is um, how they're going to overcome any obstacles, which seems to be between you and them security, um, something to do with. Um, wealth. Okay. So they're taking a leap of faith and that is to overcome any setbacks to do with security, um, wealth, abundance, um, anything to do with uh, securing a home, uh, a job and things like that. Okay. All right. So uh, the most probable outcome for you, your most probable outcome is moving. Okay, uh, leaving and 
moving beyond this, leaving these eight cups and moving towards your new two of cups, okay? This is leaving in the dead of the night, all right? And their um, most probable outcome in relationship with you, okay, whether it's whatever type of relationship it is, eight of swords, okay? So another swords, which is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So the most probable outcome in this partnership would be them feeling like they're in a self-imposed prison, stuck, energy, blinded, tied, can't move, can't talk, and they're not wanting to um, release them. They're not knowing how to release themselves from this relationship. So um, yours is leaving and moving on to your two of cups and their most probable outcome, if they stay in this union, if you do partner up with whatever person you're thinking about uh, the most, um, they would feel that they are in a self-imposed prison feeling uh, in, you know, stuck energy. This is the card, honestly, that I don't like the most. Um, out of all the suits, out of all the cards, out of all of the major and minor arcana, this one I, I do not favor the most because um, she can free herself or in this character, he or she can free themselves anytime they like and just walk away. And you're also the most probable outcome is walking away. So they're having a hard time with walking away from this energy with you, okay? Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, you're wanting celebration. You're wanting fair um, karma for both you and them. You feel passionate and strong. They're making decisions and um, really speaking their truth, okay? And communication to them comes very, very quickly. They act fast with the eight of of uh, wands. That's one of the most fast action moving cards. And they're taking a new leap of faith uh, so, or, and they do have a new leap of faith, especially with um, the high priestess being here. Okay. So they're following their inner truth, what feels right for them. And you are as well. Okay. Because you know that um, in order to achieve um, Knight of Pentacles, which is in your obstacle, you're needing to rest, recover, restore, renew. Okay. And advice from your advice from spirit. Their advice from spirit is the wheel of the year. So lucky, um, that's the luckiest card in the deck, um, really making things, um, moving things forward and making good decisions has led them to a very lucky time in their life. Okay. So luck is on their side. Yeah. So that is the advice from spirit. The wheel of the year. Luck is on their side. Yours is, you know, take a step back. Take a breather, rest, recover, because three of swords comes before the four of swords. So you're needing to just, you know, meditate, maybe go out in nature, uh, really feel what you need to feel in order to achieve what you want to achieve in life, okay? But you have moved to a more, more peaceful, tranquil environment, okay? That is what shows me right off the hop. Okay, and I really don't think it needs to be clarified. I think that is uh, pretty well laid out, explains itself. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the sun. I don't know if we're showing. Is the sun? We're not going to show um, some some different areas of the tarot right now. So on YouTube, that's okay. So it's the sun. And there's a little boy on the this nice little white horse and he's riding in the sun. Happiest card in the deck. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck after all of this um, between you and your partner, however long you've known each other or even in partnership or if this is someone new, I don't know. It's not letting me know that, how long you've known this person. Um, but they are saying that happy times are ahead. Uh, fresh energy, a wonderful vibe. This is the sun. So great times under the sun, creating happy memories, um, you know, enjoying life, bliss, all that, you know, that joy that life has to offer. 
in peace, love, serenity, and you will be um, resting and recovering, I believe, during that time uh, in Leo season, which is uh, in July and some of August. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the True Love Oracle for you. Three cards, and honestly, some of the cards I know very well. It's, but some of them I'm still needing to read from the deck. So I will read like the quickest meaning possible, but uh, I want to get you the right message. So I will have to read from the um, guidance book, the guidebook. Um, if I'm not certain or sure of what the card comes out as. Okay. So I'm three cards for your love energy, your love energy. This doesn't have to do with them. This is to do with cancer and of course, cancer alone. Um, so, uh, sorry, it's because I do know this one. <laughs> and so, um, that's why I was like, Oh good. I know this one. So, um, yeah. So this is to do with cancer. Okay. Cancer's love. It, it's beyond this person. It doesn't have to be this person. This is your love energy for you, your true love uh, messages for cancer. Uh, the sacred woman is the first one. Number 27. Okay. You may want to look up uh, nine for numerology. What that means. Nine. Okay. And then we have a few cards that came out. And in terms of who's on the board here, we have Leo Aries Sag. Um, we have um, Taurus. We have Aries again. Uh, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. We have again Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Everybody seems to be here. Okay. Which is always pretty much the case. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to pay attention to the exact signs of the energy that comes out. It's just for your knowledge, for confirmation. Okay. So for, um, cancer, please. Two more shuffles. One and Okay. Awesome. 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 True love for you. So the sacred woman, she's a very respected figure. I read about her. Okay. And I memorized this, 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 um, interesting, um, tarot card or yeah, Oracle card, sorry, the sacred woman. She's very well respected. Okay. And she doesn't pull any punches. She really, um, makes sure that even though she's feminine, um, now, this is like back in the day when there was an equality. It wasn't even thought of. She would make sure because of all of the work that she did on her home um, in terms of, you know, uh, gathering food or anything to do with survival. She was the one woman who would go out and hunt and gather and also, you know, take care of many people within a village. And she would be very, very respected because of it. So she, she became sacred as a feminine, um, energy. Okay. Because, um, there was an equality many, many, many moons ago. So she was, you see here, she's wearing bare, some like bare skin and she has a lamp mountains behind her. So she was very, very well respected for all of the things that she did in terms of survival for survival for her family, her village, or, you know, she would do whatever it took to make sure everyone was fed, clothed in comfort, um, not cold, not, you know, freezing or anything like that. And so she was very respected by, um, the opposite gender. Okay. So that is what the sacred woman is about. And so that is the card for you. I don't know if that helps you in any way, but the sacred woman, very respected uh, female character in this Oracle deck. Okay. Then we have resolving conflict. So you see, it says here, love, empathy, compassion, understanding, resolving, con resolving conflict. It's number 26. So you might want to check out seven in terms of numerology. You see this um, woman here now, of course, re reverse roles as you see fit. This could very well be a male that didn't have equality in his um, 
environment. Okay. So she's pouring, this lady's pouring her heart out in terms of energy and giving positive energy to this man um, to resolve any conflict in terms and wanting to bring in love, empathy, compassion, and understanding to the situation between them. Okay. And then what we have for you is 18. So that's a nine again. Um, is intimacy. So you will have intimacy with um, someone of interest, which is what the uh, angel messages is for you from the true love oracle. So you will have intimacy with um, either this person here or a different person. Okay. I really feel that it is a different person um, considering that they are feeling constricted and bound and tied and you are needing to wanting to move on from them. Okay. So yes or no question for you. If you wanted to resonate on that now, I'm going to pull one card and um, it will be, a, it will show me yes or no um, for cancer. Yes or no for cancer. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe. There's a lot of fun contests. Uh, a lot of ways to win tarot readings um, as well. What's new, I will let you know, the most zodiac signs that have the amount, the most likes. The zodiac sign that, that I'm doing now in June that has the most likes, okay, will win a bonus reading that I will upload for your sign, okay? So smash that like button because then you will get a bonus reading for the month of July, okay? So hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll know when I upload my videos. Okay, so yes or no for cancer. And remember, the 40th person to comment wins a automatically a free hour reading with me. And you would just need to get in touch with me through email. And I will be, again, um, revealing the winner today for the automatic uh, subscribers, new subscribers uh, prize draw. So, okay, yes or no for cancer, please, yes or no for cancer. It's really not a bad reading. Um, it seems like you know where you stand, they know where they stand, you know what to do, they know what to do, and you're both doing it, if that's the message that could come across. You're both living your life, and what you don't see coming is the sun, which is like the happiest part in the deck. So... Um, there's, of course, their highlight of the reading was the wheel of for the wheel of the year, the wheel of fortune, and your highlight would be the sun. Fun times um, ahead, so good, happy times, and yeah. So okay, so it came out. Uh, so again, we have Queen of Wands. It, that would be a yes, okay, for you. So if you were um, asking a question, the answer is yes. You also have. Double confirmation of the King of Wands here. So the answer to your question is yes. Thanks for watching Tease Tarot Cancer. Um, very much uh, love reading for you. Uh, so yeah, be well till next time. Take care and uh, have a great week.